Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your captain speaking. Welcome back to another episode of Skybounds here today. Today we are going to be working on our island a little bit. As you can see, I'm starting to work on plowing some land here near the front of my island. And basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to be plowing each side here um, in front of my spawners. And this is going to be my wheat area. I noticed that when I built my island on nice that, um, you know, I made those giant, that giant pumpkin farm and melon farm and uh, it was it was too much so um, I couldn't get the pumpkins and melons to grow and it led to trouble so we got one two three four and we'll place our next water bucket here um, also as you can all see below I've also built a stone generator for my ore seeds um, it's a fairly simple design with several dispensers and lava buckets and then we've got this nice platform down here um, which you can see this is too wide and underneath these planks here are actually water sources so if you have enough water sources um, when there's an open area they will fill up this whole thing with smooth water as an infinite water source so then you place your ore seeds here on top and they generate into the smooth stone as it goes so as you can see i would click this with all the water the lava drops down it hits the water turns it all into smooth stone and we are good to go now um, obviously there is no water down there right now just to uh show you guys how it works and then we've got redstone going up here to all the repeaters and the dispensers themselves so it's a pretty simple design um i was going to you can see a staircase here um i really wanted to make this staircase go down here below and i was going to place my ore seeds down here um with the hopes that they would reach the stone but i couldn't get it to work so um, i did unfortunately have to place them up here i'm not a huge fan of the design but as you can see, it works like a charm, so I really can't complain. That's really about all I've done on my island, so I really want to jump into getting this wheat farm done. And the reason I'm doing the wheat farm right now is because if we go into our challenges here, we've got our challenge selector is to plant 500 seeds. And I still have 83 daily challenges to go before we can prestige here for the first time on steampunk islands so i'm trying to do what i can to blast through all of these challenges and uh get to that prestige so uh if you are excited for this if you think it's gonna look good let me know down below throw me a comment i did not mean to hoe that land um, and also this chest was just kind of here when I decided to do this, so I, I, we are going to have to move that for sure. But um, I just wanted to go ahead and get the land plowed out, get the wheat seeds laid down. Um, and this side should be, um, what is it? It's one, two, three, four. Hey, hey there. Hey there, buddy. Calm down. All right, goodbye. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wide by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. So a little bit of quick math there. That comes out to 224 blocks here of wheat. Um, I may go ahead and expand it a little bit um, or maybe cut off the roads here and add it in this section, um, in order to reach the full 500, because if we take our 224 and multiply by two, that's only 448, and we need 500 little plots of land here, so, um, let's go ahead and move out our eight blocks, because as you guys know, a water source will reach and saturate ground within, I think, five blocks, so we go one, two, three, four is how far this one will reach, and then one, two, three, four for our next water source. Um, and we will place a dirt block, another dirt block, now we've got a nice little hole, and the land can be plowed. So here we go. We're almost done with about half of it here. I wanna get this challenge done, and maybe a couple other of my daily challenges here today for you guys. I think I've got, um, Let's see what we have left on our daily challenges, actually. We've got Farming Apprentice, which is actually plant 200 seeds. Oh, wow, I didn't even know that. So, basically, these challenges are going to go hand in hand. Um, so, let me go ahead, let's get this land plowed, and then we will cut back in when we are done with 
plowing the land. All right, guys, so here we go. We've got one side here done. And um, what I went ahead and did is I expanded it out another four blocks. So that's gonna give us another 28 on each side, which should bring us right to about 500 blocks for planting the seeds. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and copy that design here on the other side. And I'm really thinking it's gonna look pretty good when we are done. So when I get done with it, we will see you and catch on up. All right, everybody, here we are. We just got finished up plowing the land on the other side of our farm. So now we need to go ahead and grab us some wheat seeds and get them planted. First, I want to get this chest moved, but unfortunately it's full of stuff. So I need to uh, empty my current stash of items so we've got this chest full of junk over here i am working on organizing my island slowly so please be patient i'm, I'm very unorganized but there we go we've got them all dropped off now let's go ahead let's grab the rest of the items in here i am taking damage because i'm so hungry all right so let's grab as much of this as we can Okay, so there's one inventory, and uh, it, it helps if I grab a chest, I, I guess. Huh? So let's go find our chest. Where did we put our chest? There we go, we've got four chests. And we're gonna slap them down right here for now. Very ugly, very terrible. <sighs> Somebody please help me organize it with all of this. <laughs> Uh, because I'm lazy and I don't want to do it. All right. One more trip, I believe. Yeah. So let's grab up the rest of this stuff here. And the chests. We'll also need to grab our hoe back out and go ahead and plow this land up. Hello there, sir. What you doing? He's, I guess he's just visiting his, his skeleton friends. So we'll just be over here. Very nonchalantly, and, and I'm out of space by one. You know what? I don't even want the stinky cobblestone. So let's grab our hoe back out, and we will go ahead and plow those. And if we do the command shop, probably the greatest command in the entire game, um, we will grab us some regular old grass seeds. One, two, three, four, five. We've got to let the cooldown go a little bit one two three four five and so that is ten full stacks giving us 640 seeds so i know that it is more than enough and actually guys if you didn't know hoes have awesome abilities um so um if i go ahead and i start planting this and i've got all these ducks that, that just want want the seeds but i don't want the i don't or not ducks the chickens yes Get on down there, sir. Goodbye. All right. <laughs> if we take our seeds and we go ahead, we plant them up. I know that this is our challenge, but I want it also to look nice, so. All right, so we've got two stacks, or I guess that's three stacks down, so we should be hitting the 200 marker here any time, and there it is. We are done with 200 seeds planted so we're gonna go ahead and finish up these farms here and uh finish up this 500 seed challenge probably one of the more boring ones so i think it'll be right about perfect i really hope this is enough i'm gonna be a little upset if it's not to be honest 83 percent 86 oh i don't think it's gonna be enough i don't think i made 500 spots oh no 90 we still need about 10 percent yeah and this is not 50 long here so now what do we do we are 15 seeds away from completing this challenge what do you think maybe we do like the oh no those aren't gonna reach so um 
we are going to plow some land. We're gonna we're gonna be cheeky here for a second. 98, 99, and 100. There we go. There's our 500 seeds planted, guys. And if we take our hoe and we can actually use the grow feature, and we go ahead and right click. Grew 110 crops, and now we've got luscious lands of wheat around our entrance. So when people walk in, they'll see nothing but wheat. And I actually kind of like that with the spawners here. What do you guys think? Let me know down below, and don't forget to slap that like button if you haven't already. We are um, hitting it out of the park. Our channel is growing so much by the day. Thank you so much to everybody for your support. I really do appreciate it and I'm really looking forward to doing it more in the future. So if we go into our challenges now, you can see we can pick a new challenge for our daily selector. I've completed all of the expert ones that I've unlocked. So let's go ahead, let's start up here and it is kill 100 skeletons. So I bought it, I unlocked the challenge by purchasing it. And if I grab a sword here, let's grab our death. We'll head over to our skeleton spawner. And what do we got? We've got uh, 150 skeletons right here. So we'll just blow right through these and complete yet another daily challenge. So we will be right on our way to prestiging. 70, 80, 90, and all the way done skeleton slayer out of the way easy peasy 20 seconds like it's nothing so back into our challenges and you can see we are empty i'm not gonna bother buying the extra challenge slots 15 million stars that's crazy and to be honest it's actually gonna help me to um, get through the campaign challenge mega reroll with only the three challenge slots because you have to keep re-rolling your daily challenges and completing them um, in order for them to cost a million stars and then you can complete that campaign challenge. Well, I'm not there yet, but I want to work towards it. So right now my reroll costs 64,000 stars. I'm going to go ahead and pay for it and we're going to see what we can get, see what we can complete right here. We've got to obtain 300 total points in the mining world, plant 200 seeds again, and kill 200 monsters. Well, I'm obviously not going to plant 200 seeds. I did complete that daily challenge already, so completing it really isn't going to do a whole lot for me. So I have got chickens in here for days, and I do not have zombies. Now, this is a fairly common glitch, I do believe, um, where um, sometimes when your zombie comes on down on a chicken, he will fall through a block and you can find him down below most of the time. No? Where's my zombies? Where's my zombies, man? Well, that's a little upsetting. Well, let's head back up top and see if some have spawned in. No. Are they stuck up here? I hear the zombies. But where are they? Are they like on top of the grinder? No. But I do need to put glowstone up here so I don't have the monsters spawning up there. I can hear zombies, guys. Where are they? It sounds like I'm am I closer up here. Oh my gosh, look. <laughs> so I had a spawner that I accidentally misplaced here and my zombies all spawned up here. That's crazy. All right, well, let's go ahead. Let's see if we can get these guys down or we'll just go ahead and kill them all right here. I don't mind. Oh, there they go. <laughs> There's our 85 zombies. I definitely need to go ahead and pick up that spawner and get it moved over, so. All right, destroy them all 20% of the way there. Let's get through, let's kill 200 monsters and complete yet another daily challenge. And look, Mining World is actually ready, so we can actually jump right in and complete our um, challenge to obtain 300 total points. So let's go ahead and let's do that, and then let's call it a day on the video. 
Here we are. Mining World's already going. It's got 11 people. 13 now. That's what I love about um, Steampunk so far is that Mining World takes no time to fill up. It's almost all day long. Games are going. I love it. Love it. Love it. Now we just need 300 points. So we're not going to be trying too hard to go for meteors or anything. I mean, if we can get it, that is fantastic. Um, otherwise, I just kind of want to stay out of the way and see if I can just get some points by myself here. So um, we've got a mossy meteor here and a lots of iron. So we're going to start off here and start getting some points. Hopefully we aren't around anybody. So we can maybe just mine in peace. So in order to just get our 300 points, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt to upgrade my efficiency um, as well as my finder's keepers tool. And that way I can just blow through the stone, pick up diamonds and emeralds, and I should be able to rack up my 300 points fairly easily without anybody bugging me too much. However, I'm in a pretty rich area. I can see tons of ores around me. So it may be worth going for um, a nice big round here. So we'll see how it plays out. We are at level five. Immunity is over. I don't see anybody around me. This is the perfect starting scenario for Mining World. But we also have 14 players here, which is very different from the nice islands. You guys know we, we always had right at 10 players. Um, so definitely not as crowded over there, but... Um, you know, never could get games going there either. So I, I definitely like this much better where we can get games going. That way, if I die, that's okay because I know another one's gonna fill up. So let's get our efficiency up to two. We can mine this gold here. And we've already got 50, 60 points here. So we are about a third of the way done with our daily challenge, which is my goal. Let's keep that in mind. We're level eight. Um, Let's go ahead, let's upgrade our prospector and grab these diamonds. Because that, like I said in my tutorials, that's a free level right there almost every time. So, more iron on this side here. We'll go ahead and scoop it up. And we should hit level 10 here any second. And one more. There we go. Do that to level 3. Efficiency to level 3. And now we can just blow through this stuff. 104 points. We are cruising to that 300 very easily. No problems whatsoever. Um, I see a little bit of gold down here. Let's go grab it. Level 11. So now we're going to start leveling up our haste um, because once we hit our haste to level 3, um, you literally just shred through mountains. So I want to get that done as fast as I can. Let's see. Can I Let's, let's go ahead and jump down, because I see diamonds and stuff down here. We can build back up. Oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. And I'm dead. That is really unfortunate. It's Alex Official. Knocked us out, but that's okay. We're going to jump right back in to it and see what we can do. See if maybe we can get this going again. So we're going to start this game at level 4. That is not ideal. Because we're like level 11. That's all right, we'll get our XP investor up to two and try this again, guys. We've got all kinds of passes, so I'm not really concerned. I can afford to play this game over and over and over again. So I can rejoin as many times as I need to, so not a big deal. There we go, level five. We'll grab our prospect. Oops, I was supposed to grab efficiency there, wasn't I? That's all right. Let's go see if we can find us some good ores. Now if I can maybe find some diamonds, um, you know, I can at least easily um, pick them up and get some levels. But I see somebody has obviously been here, which I'm not digging too much. So let's try this again. There we go, there's level six, so we can get our efficiency one. I don't want to waste that time right now. I just kind of want to get through the rest of this iron some gold. There we go. Now we'll just upgrade it twice. Easy. Gold, gold, gold. Yes, this is awesome. Here we go. I 
Okay, so I'm actually seeing that this mountain that we're in is very large, so I'm actually just going to stay in it. So I'm trying to jump down somewhere else and getting lucky and having somebody show up and run us over again. So we're level 9. We'll actually go ahead and upgrade our haste to 2 as well right now. That way we only need two more points and we can go ahead and max out our mining speed here. There's the meteor, so hopefully that's going to attract players away from this area as it's, what is that, well, at least 400 blocks away. So that's a very large distance from us, so hopefully we uh, don't have to worry about people hanging around here too much. So there's level 10, get that level 3 XP investor. That way we can level up even faster. Find us some dang ores in here. There we go, there's some iron. See, somebody's already at the meteor, so um, this would not have been a very good game. Anyway, that's all right by me. Uh-oh, and I see, I see a name tag. Brandon Lord. I mean you no harm, it's uh... What do we do? What do we do? I've got my crouch key um, held down, so hopefully he can't see my name tag. And it looks like he's gonna come over here. And that's why I've also not been spending my points um, because I, I don't know if I need to use them for PvP in order to fight this guy. I just kind of want to move away from him. And I'm stopping every now and then to listen to see if I can hear him coming down. And I don't hear anything, so... Okay, still not hearing anything, and there we go. Oh, it's 300 points total, not 300 points in a single game, I guess, because we actually just completed the challenge with only 160-something points on us. So we can go ahead and go willy-nilly on this game. Um, and see if uh, maybe we can come out with something still. I don't know. We'll find out. See how fast we can level up here. Diamonds! Alright, we got some points here. Let's go ahead and upgrade our Finders Keepers to four and get us some combat gear here. Just in case we come across somebody, we will at least have ourselves a fighting chance out here. And we'll move on over to this mountain, see what we can carve out of it. Okay, so we're level 25. We got 11 minutes left in the game. I'm definitely not leading in any category, um, but I have made a little bit of a comeback here, so I'm hoping that I can uh, keep it going and uh, at least maybe max out my PvP tree um, in case I do get into a fight with somebody I'll at least have a chance to steal their points and their kills and uh, maybe get us an immortal artifact out of this so we are down to nine players here um, that's uh, still a lot of players so let's go ahead let's upgrade some more PvP here all right, we've got some more items here. We're almost level 30, which you do need to get that sharpness five on your pickaxe. So if I'm gonna be fighting anybody, I know I definitely have to have that there, so. There we go, there's level 30. I don't see any name tags though, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. It's, it's Alex Official, just went down to the skills FC. Easy peasy, he was naked apparently. That is crazy ridiculous. But we still have nine players, so it looks like it's Alex Official has rejoined, or at least some other players have. Um, I do like that um, you can rejoin the game late and still get some points. You don't get as many as you used to. Um, and so it does make it harder to then come back late in a game and, and win, but it's still possible, so. Let's keep carving. We've got six points built up here. We got a big old gold ore right here. Still nine minutes to go, so we got a lot of time left to play. So we'll get level five. We are diamond, prot three. Get our regen up. 
and get us the player tracker. So let's go ahead and upgrade. You know what? I want to upgrade my speed. That way I can get to these players faster and hopefully get us some kills. And this way we can definitely get to the next meteor for sure and at least fight anybody who's there. I know I won't be able to get a ton of points because I wasn't able to max out my reserve and greed and all this and that. But, um, you know, I'll at least have a chance now with the meteor. And it's Alex official has gone down again, but we still have nine players. Isn't that interesting? So it looks like, he, oh, ten players now. So I guess he's rejoined and somebody else has joined late in the game here. Let's see if our rocket will get us all the way. There we go. And let's follow this player tracker. Let's go get us some kills because we will also inherit their points when we do get kills. So let's mine our way through this mountain. And the reason I'm mining through this mountain instead of just going to the top is because it's also giving me points as I do it. And it's really almost just as fast. So it's beneficial in multiple ways. Um, you see, I've already gotten two points from it, just that mountain, and we got through it in just seconds. So it looks like we're right here at somebody. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my golden apple to where I can have multiple apples, and I see a name tag down here. So let's go get them. Who goes here? Where are you? Yep, there's the name tag. I see it. What? Where? Are they still further down? We've got us another skill point here though, so I definitely want to go ahead and, you know, let's start upgrading our mining again. There it is, yep. It looks like it's Lucky Trooper here. Let's go ahead, let's go see if we can fight him out. No, Lucky Trooper, I'm not going to truce. I've got to get me a win here, buddy. Oh, boy. Got him into the void. Got him at four hearts. Easy done. 19.7 hearts remaining. And a new skill point. Let's move it on. Find us another player to murder. So we'll upgrade speed again. And keep on moving and grooving. We got six minutes. Hopefully another meteor drops here in a minute and um, we can maybe get over there to it to get us some points. So let's go ahead and start building. See, this is another thing I like about speed is that you can build a lot, lot faster too. So it's not only running. Let's see here. Someone's gotta be around here. Rocket is ready. Let's go find our next, hopefully, victim. Oh, and we actually passed him, so. You know, let's, let's get rid of these skeletons. Okay, we don't have time for this. We don't have time for you, gentlemen here. Nor you, creeper. Okay, so our player is right here. I don't think they're above us. My guess is they're gonna be down here below. Let's go find out. I don't see name tags, though, so. Oh, yep, there it is. And it's Skills FC, which we are going to go ahead and murder here. See if we can take him down for the video. He's a friend, but I want to get us some kills. So we got him at half health. Oh, he's got me down. Ooh, come on, buddy. Oh, I think he's going to get me. I think he's going to get me. He got me with half a heart left. That was a great game. Good game. Good fight. I don't know if I killed him. Well, guys, I think that's where we're going to call it a video for tonight. If you enjoyed it, please slap that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you all next time.